Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sastasha. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some new items from Ikea that I've absolutely been loving that I would definitely recommend you guys heading over and picking them up. As you guys are watching this, I'm currently en route to Ikea to pick some of these items up. Because my local Ikea was already starting to sell out, I did have to drive a little bit farther away. Really wanted to get this video up for you guys so you guys could check these out and go ahead and pick them up if you guys are interested in any of them before they do sell out. If you guys would like to see more Ikea videos, let me know in the comments down below. As always, my Instagram as well as my TikTok is linked down below if you guys wanna follow me on there. And without further ado, we can just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that I'm sharing with you guys is just this glass vase. Immediately when I saw it, I knew I needed to pick it up. I've been eyeing a glassware set like this for quite some time. However, the glassware set is a bit of a splurge and it's not something that I really wanna spend that type of money money on. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, Ikea has it. It's definitely going to be affordable. It's a vase version. I could probably get a little bit more use out of it and it would actually be displayed on like a counter or somewhere in my home. So it would be worth spending the money on as opposed to getting the glassware set that kind of hides away in my kitchen cabinets. But this vase is only a dollar and 49 cents. Yes, you heard that right, a dollar and 49 cents. I do not know how this is so cheap. I'm literally going to pick up like 10 of these and I will tell you guys why. This is a perfect, super, super affordable home decor piece, but this also is great to be able to give away to people. So over the holidays, I made uh, some floral arrangements for other people in my family, and the vases that I used kind of ended up costing a little bit more money. Now this is $1.49, and I could easily make floral arrangements in these and give them away to people. Like, you could get this vase for $1.49, go to Trader Joe's, pick up some flowers, give it to your mom for Mother's Day, and it's just, a beautiful vase. I would highly, highly recommend picking a few of these up just because of the price point. You're definitely going to be able to put them to a good use. And like I said, for $1.49, you really can't beat it. So that is something that I definitely wanted to share with you guys. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys is a great way to try out a trend and see if you want to actually invest the money or you can actually just keep this item all together. And that is this woven chair. Now, cane, woven, rattan, all of that is super, super interesting. In as far as chairs go, but they tend to be really pricey. All of these companies really are knocking off a older version of a chair that was around like fourteen to eighteen thousand dollars. So even though they're selling these chairs to you at seven hundred dollars, it seems like it's so much cheaper. But in my opinion, that's just too much money to spend on a chair. So finding something like this at IKEA that is under a hundred dollars is a great way to get the trend for less. Like I said, over time, I don't know if these chairs, like all this cane and rattan is really gonna hold up throughout the next few years. If it's still gonna be trendy, if it's still gonna be something that everyone wants in their home, not too sure. So it's great to find things like this at Ikea that are a lot cheaper. And honestly, I really like the unique shape of this. It's very trendy. It also comes in a set of the chairs and the table. And I think the whole set for both the table and the chairs is $625. So that is coming under the price point of one of those knockoff chairs that you guys see everyone having over on Instagram. So definitely something to check out when you head into the store next. One of my favorite things to get from Ikea are their faux plants. They're at a really great price point and they don't look super fake. So if you're like me and you have certain areas in your home where real plants won't work out, I like to pop in a plant that is just faux. That way you know it's not gonna die or you're not gonna waste your money. I have a few areas within my home that don't get the proper natural lighting or they don't have the best like air circulation so plants just tend not to survive. So that's when I go ahead and head over to Ikea and get really affordable options as far as these faux plants go. I actually have this one in the back here. It is really, really old. I've had it for like over seven years. I just have it popped in the back there as a nice pop of color. You guys might not have even known that it was fake, but that is just something that I've always picked up from Ikea and they have these three new arrivals that I definitely think you guys should check out. Two of them are larger, like tree style. Again, at that price point, you're usually looking at about a hundred dollars for a good quality faux plant. That's like the average price. So Ikea has them for a little under 50 bucks. Even these smaller ones are under $10. Like they have a few different options, but I just wanted to share with you guys these three new ones that I thought just looked really, really good. 
All right, this next item is actually an organizational piece. It is meant to be a memo board with clips on it. And originally when I saw this, that is not what I was thinking of using it for. I saw this as a very affordable wall decor piece. All you have to do is go ahead and remove the clips on it. You can even use them. They're really pretty and gold. But once you do that, this looks like one of those wall hangings that are made of metal that you would pay like hundreds of dollars for at somewhere like West Elm. And what I thought would be really cool is to get like three or four of them and kind of like attach them to the wall in different areas. It would be a really fun, unique looking piece of art that you made. And again, they're only $14.99 each. So buying a few of them, you're still gonna be under $100, which most of those metal things that you guys see as far as artwork pieces can tend to be really, really pricey. So this is a really great option. Also, if gold isn't your color, you can easily take some spray paint, spray paint it, and then you have a different piece. So I think I'm gonna pick up a few of them. I'm going to spray paint them matte black. And then I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit later, like in a few weeks, what it looks like on the wall, but I'm super excited about those. So I had to do a double take when I saw this next piece that I'm gonna share with you guys. And that is because this looks so anthropology, so Urban Outfitters, I was confused because I was like, I thought you were looking on the Ikea website. This pillow is amazing and it's 26 inches by 26 inches so it's a bigger decor pillow and what i love about this is it's actually a pillow cover so you buy your own insert so recently i've been pairing my ikea pillow covers with parachute home pillow inserts because they're super, super, super comfortable. So you can literally save a little bit money on the cover and get a nicer insert. Ikea does have some great options and don't get me wrong, the ones from Ikea are super comfortable, but if you wanna spend just a little bit more money and get some from Parachute Home, that's what I would recommend. It makes things so, so comfy. And again, you're getting this pillow cover that is super affordable, but it looks so nice. The detailing on this is amazing. I have spent definitely like $60 on something like this from Urban Outfitters before. So to see that they're really stepping it up with the quality and adding nice, really textures to their pillow covers is making me super happy. Lately, Ikea has really, really, really been stepping it up with their lighting selection. I have been so impressed. I recently got a lamp not too long ago and it was really, really nice mid-century modern option. A ton of you guys, when you saw it in the background, were asking where it is from. And I just got it from Ikea, I love it. I am still deciding where I wanna put it in this new place, but I just found these new options on the website and they're actually made of of blown glass which if you guys have been following me for quite some time I used to have a ton of blown glass vases I just really love the look of blown glass so I'm thinking about picking two of these up having them on each side of my bed for the nightstands and again they're not gonna break the bank so I'm super excited to check those out they're beige with opal glass so I think there'll be a nice contrast in here especially with the white walls I'm thinking of changing this wall back to white as well so I think that it will look really good in here just to have a a little break from everything being so stark white. All right, so I have this personal list in my head. It's like a wish list of items that I wish that I could own. They are home decor pieces that I've always lusted after, but they are just way too expensive and they're probably things I'll never splurge on. One of them being this Armadillo Rug Company. And the rugs are about 2000 to $5,000, which I really don't care how much money I make in the future. I don't think I could ever spend that much money on a rug. However, Ikea just came out with this new wool rug that literally is such a good dupe for an armadillo rug. I am like shook. This is literally the perfect rug. It has an amazing, beautiful, beautiful texture to it. It even has the tasseling on it that looks just like the armadillo rug that I had been lusting after. So I definitely think this is a really great option to pick up. That's another thing I think over the past few years, Ikea has really stepped it up with their rug quality. They offer really great options. They have lots of different fibers and textures and materials that actually make a good quality rug. Before they only had like those really gross plasticky type rugs and now that's not the case. So if you're looking for a rug and you want something affordable, definitely go to to Ikea. I feel like rugs, when you splurge on them, you have to keep in mind, you're gonna be walking over it. You're gonna be stepping all over it. It just is never something for me that I wanna spend a ton of money on. I see people all the time buying like thousand dollar rugs and stuff. And I know it, it is a focal point in your home and you might wanna spend money, but for me, I'm just way too clumsy to invest that kind of money in something like that because I know I'm going to ruin it. I've had 
even like cheaper rugs that were like nice and beige and yeah, they don't last well for me. So going to Ikea is a great place. And again, this one is so nice. It's such a great option. Get yourself a little rug pad to go under it and you are good to go. So one of the items that has always been on my Ikea wish list is they make this glass cabinet that I've just always wanted. I've never had a place to put it, but I've always wanted it. Every time I go into the store, I'm like, wow, I need to find a place to put it. And they recently came out with a new version of their glass cabinet. And when I tell you I need it, I need it. So I'm really gonna try and find a way to fit it in. It's super nice. And all they basically did was make it a little bit more sharp around the edges. The one I originally wanted had like round corners and this one is just very sharp around the edges. It comes in black, which I think is great. And this is a great way to have your storage look cute and have things on display. You can even use this as storage for like your shoes or if you have like books, you can just use them and put them them in there they look really great in the glass cabinet as opposed to using your standard bookshelf I don't know I've just always thought that these pieces were really nice and to me they're still very unique you can even put this in your dining room and put extra dishes in there which is probably a good option for me and what I will probably use it for if I end up finding the space for it and the last thing that I want to share with you guys is this really unique looking lampshade again it does not look like it's from Ikea it has a really cool shape to it and it does come in a standard just lampshade that you can go ahead and find your own lamp base for it so you could use it as a floor lamp or you could use it as a table lamp but it also does come as a pendant however i would recommend just going with the lampshade and finding your own pendant somewhere else in my opinion this ikea lampshade pendant little situation it looks a little bit cheap if you're using their hardware you can easily find different hardware somewhere else and just go ahead and purchase the lampshade and I think that that would make it look a little bit more luxury and not so cheap because to me the package deal here isn't looking too expensive but the lampshade itself is so that is a little fun tip if you guys were interested in checking out that piece all right so those are all the items that i wanted to share with you guys in today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed also don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you guys would like to see more ikea videos like this thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye